Hi, this is Charisma from Charisma's Corner and I'm back again today. I wanted to show you the Palestrina knot. It's a really easy uh, stitch and it just adds a little bit of dimension to the embroidery rather than just a running stitch or a back stitch. It just has a little bit of a um, knot in there to give it some a little bit of pizzazz and so I'm going to show it here on this wool penny project that I have complete. You can see um, I did kind of like an Americana one and around the edge of the wool penny is the Palestrina knot. Now the Palestrina knot is um, I think the thicker the thread you use the bigger the knot and the more dimension you'll see. When you use a thinner thread um, you just kind of it's just a small dainty knot and you just don't see it as much so I'm gonna show it on my project 365 first everything on this is pink different shades of pink and cream and um, so you can draw a line if you want I didn't draw one here but um, I'm just gonna show how it goes anyway so if I had a line here, I go up above the line just a little bit and you're going to make sort of a slanted stitch. So you see that? You come under the stitch, come back up. Now you're going to go down underneath that stitch that you made and then again. So you see this little bit of thread here. You don't want to go in between the knot that the loop that you just made. You want to go underneath that same one and you want to go make a knot with the fabric again. So I'm going to show that again. I'm going to make a take a stitch, come back up just underneath the stitch. And I always for some reason my impulse is to want to go underneath it that way, but you don't. You can that's not the way to do it. You need to go um, under it the other way up and over. Up and over again, coming up over your working thread. See how it makes those little knots along the way? This is six strands of DMC floss. And it looks really pretty um, to outline with this um, stitch. And uh, it just gives it that little bit of dimension, a little bit of texture. So again, coming up underneath, oops, brought up another thread, go down under, go down under again. Okay, so that's what it looks like just taking a line um, on my Project 365. Now I want to show it on the, I have started a wool confetti project and I'm just going around this wool confetti square. You can see I've already got two sides down, but this has a line built in already, right? Because of your outlining the wool confetti. So I'm just going to go up above, take a stitch. Then I'm going to come back under, over and through, over and through. And show that again. Over and through. Sorry. Over and through. Okay, so I'll show it this way. Take a stitch, come back underneath that stitch, over and down, over and down. Over and down. See how it just forms that great little texture? I'll just go around the corner so you can see how it is to go over a corner. There's no real tricks or anything. 
but sometimes that's just helpful to know. On this particular wool confetti project, I've challenged myself only to use shades of brown, gray, black, and neutral threads, which is a challenge. It's very hard because all the threads start to look the same to me as I'm going along, but I'm sure I'll like the finished project. So I'm just going to come out right where that corner is. I'm going to come underneath again where that corner is. Over over and just take that next stitch and that's just how you get it around the corner so that is the palestrina stitch and I just want to thank you for joining me again this is Charisma Horton you can find me on Facebook or you can find me at charismascorner.com and I'm hoping to have another video uh, out soon thanks a lot bye